Yeah, my name is uh, Donald Mugisha Sadiq, and I'm a video consultant and filmmaker. What inspired me to join the film industry, I, I basically grew up on a farm and, you know, there wasn't much to do on the farm. I kind of, you know, used to watch a lot of movies, basically. I used to watch a lot of Hong Kong movies and, you know, after watching, there was nothing you'd, you'd do. You'd kind of go out and, you know, in a way, reenact what you just watched. Uh, it's been a really big, journey for me. I mean, uh, I personally didn't go to any film school or studied what I am doing. You know, my journey has been exploring everything. For example, I started as a video editor. Someone would go out, shoot, bring me the footage, and I edit. And along the way, I would, you know, see their mistakes and learn from them and say, you know what, maybe I need to go on set and, you know, see how to correct these, these uh, mistakes so I can, you know, edit better. What does it take to be a filmmaker? You need to, to learn as much as you can, but I think the most important thing you need is basically you having the right mindset. I call it the video mindset because, you know, the video mindset is, is the kind of mindset that facilitates growth. It's a growth mindset. Like you, you strive to learn new things every day. With the sense of attraction, girl, Camille and Ali line up at the call. Pick up me phone every time that me call. Missing the party, no, not at all. With the sense of attraction, girl, Camille and Ali line up at the call. Pick up me phone. The first project that I worked on was Clear Cut and Juliana, All I Wanna Know. All I Wanna Know is what you want. Then I worked on Mamma Mia, Jose Chameleon. And then there was uh, Dorothea, I think. Uh, then I worked on um, on Bebe Cool, Never Trust No People. I, I never trust no people. And then I worked on um, Bobby Wine. <laughs> Navio, worked with Navio on Bogomo. Navio was in here. And then I worked with uh, Peter Miles one time. Juliana Kanyomozi alive again. I would give it all away. I would give it all away. Worked with comedian Jamila. I worked on my first film, it was called Divisions, and then after that I worked on, um, on another film called, uh, it's called Yogera, and then worked on another one called The Kampala Story. I worked on another one called Shuja, it was, a, it was one that we shot in Tanzania. That has also you know, been memorable for me, and then of course there's a, there's a, new, there's a project that I've worked on, a TV series that I've worked on, called Prestige and uh, I, that was also am amazing, you know, for me it's my first time working in, in television. Uh, amazing because there's amazing, you know, actors and actresses and, and the energy was great and, you know, the creativity, I mean, there's so many amazing actors in this country. There were challenges, I think, you know, now storage is like a, Terrors now, people are talking of terrors, but we, at some point we really began with 5GB, 10GB, 256. The discipline that I got from working with those challenges was the ability to be patient with an edit. The industry, the film industry, anywhere in the world is a big industry. What do I mean? It's a big industry and it, you know, it's a billion dollar industry. Look at Nollywood, look at Bollywood, look at Hollywood. 
you know, big industry employing millions of people. Employment is already obvious because we are not guessing. Internationally, it is a big industry. However, for employment to make sense as well, it's got to make, to be, to make money, you know, the government has to tax it for it to, for it to be a viable business. And the only way for that to happen is there's got to be some kind of a distribution model, exhibition model. My advice to aspiring filmmakers, mainly young filmmakers, is first of all, you have to have the right mindset to be able to be successful you know, in this industry. And when we say success, you know, it really is it's relative. I mean, whether for you doing one film is enough for you, whether you know, making money from the industry is, is, is what success is, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you need to have the right mindset. If you don't know what the mindset is, you need to figure it out. You need to do your research because that is the key. I could easily tell you, learn a skill, learn these skills, learn how to record with the camera, learn how to record sound. All that stuff will come if you have the right mindset.